Results Chain Analysis Briefly, Results Chain Analysis fulfills two main functions. These are assist stakeholders to own the project by analyzing their part in the objectives tree, clarify the changes that stakeholders aspire, and check their willingness and readiness to make them happen. In Results Chain Analysis, we are looking for solution roadmaps. It shows us sets of means and ends we can pursue to resolve or influence our target objective. Step 1. Select the desired target objective. This need not be the original target problem turned objective. The target problem might be too ambitious for the stakeholder group. Instead, the group might select an objective at a lower level in the objectives tree as the proposed project's outcome. Only one outcome should be identified per project. Step 2. Trace the results chains. With the desired target objective, identify the means and chains leading to the chosen outcome. Step 3. Discuss each chain. Discuss each result chain with the stakeholders groups, the EA, and the project team, if they are already on board, to understand how each chain will affect them, positively or negatively. In this analysis, check if each chain is likely to lead to or influence the project outcome by factoring in the available resources, EA capacities, beneficiaries' interests, and political feasibility. While critically examining each means and branch, identify and note all potential outputs and activities. Step 4. Select a tentative chain. Prepare a set of criteria to compare each results chain. Criteria may include economic, financial, socioeconomic, environmental, technical, and other institutional ones. Include also ADB safeguards and other applicable policies. Compare each results chain to arrive at a tentative chain. Step 5. Assess the tentative chain. The tentative chain opens a host of potential consequences. It may require additional technical assessments, analysis, and feasibility studies or even the hiring of experts. While these will be carried out during the Project Preparatory Technical Assistance or PPTA implementation, these activities must be noted and included in the succeeding steps. Step 6. Select the appropriate chain. The collective involvement of the borrowers, the EA, other key stakeholders as appropriate, and ADB is critical in this step. The final decision should be based on a consensus to ensure ownership of the proposed project and maximize the probability of achieving desired results. If more detailed studies are anticipated, the selected chain may still change given the result of each studies. Application In our example, Objectives 3, we can identify three chains actionable by the public bus company, the police force, and the public works. Examine each of these actors and probe if they can achieve the respective objectives identified. Let us examine each of these stakeholders. Let us begin with the police force. For each objective, critically examine whether the stakeholders can actually achieve the objective's specific requirements through a series of probing questions. For each question, judge the strength of the group consensus. Now let us examine whether the Safari Boss Company as stakeholders can actually achieve the objective's specific requirements through a series of probing questions. For each question, judge the strength of the group consensus. In our example, the decision is include in the proposed project. Finally, let us examine whether the Public Works Department as stakeholders can actually achieve the objective-specific requirements through a series of probing questions. For each question, judge the strength of the group consensus. In our example, the decision is Include for now in the proposed project. Conclusions Before concluding on the selected results chains, consider the following questions. Does it conform to local laws, policies, and procedures? Are the requisite expertise and capacity available to carry it out? Is it affordable and cost-effective? And is the necessary financing available? Is it socially acceptable by the target beneficiaries? 
is it likely to result in any negative externalities that will require mitigation? What are the major risks, and how can they be mitigated? What other investments and projects are ongoing or planned by the government, ADB, or another organization? How dependent is it on any of the other initiatives also being implemented? Desirable? Faster or slower implementation? Greater or lesser chance of sustainability? Acceptability of the change to members of the group? To the institution's culture? Avoid situations where consultants propose solutions they prefer or are familiar with, but may neither be relevant to the local circumstances nor validated against the stakeholders' criteria. The decision to pursue just one or a combination of results chain through a single project or program will depend on how closely they are dependent on each other for achieving the desired outcome.